Hello, welcome to this video where I want to talk to you about setting up scan targets on a on-prem installation of Landsweeper. Let's jump right into Landsweeper and see what we need to do here to get this all set up. So as you can see, I'm in my Landsweeper installation. I'm going to come into my scanning. I want to look at my scanning targets. I happen to have two scan servers here. Uh, let's go into this one here that I know is active. And I'm going to be setting up two different scan targets. I want to set up what I'm calling my Contoso lab, uh, the headquarters. So it's not going to be us.contoso. It's just going to be contoso.local. And also I have an IP range of 10.40.1, excuse me, 0 0.1 through 110. So I have my list of IPs that I need. I also have my list of scanning credentials that I need to come in and they're already been configured in here. I need to though, once those scan targets are created, I need to come down and map those credentials to the correct scan target. So let's jump right in to creating a scan target. So come in into my scan server here. I'm gonna create a new scan target. And honestly, you know, I would really recommend you reviewing all of these different types of scan targets that we have here that's available on the on-prem installation and really take advantage. I mean, really do take advantage of each of these different types of scan targets because that's gonna give you the most insight into all different aspects of your network where an asset could potentially reside. So in my situation, theoretically, I have two, uh, two different domain areas that I need to cover. So I'm gonna create an Active Directory domain. Let me grab this off to the side, all of my domain information. And then Net, NetBIOS name. I don't have any, um, I don't have a specific description, but it's enough for me, for my environment, uh, so I know exactly what I'm doing. This is the headquarters AD environment. And then I'm going to want to check this at every 15 minutes. And I'm really looking at a every day. I'm going to set this down to zero. There we go. And I'm going to scan uh, max time in between scans is one day as well. So this helps to kind of spread out some of those scans. Um, if you have a specific OU that you're wanting to target inside of this domain, you can actually add a filter where this question mark here, the little symbol will tell us that setting this up, for example, would actually target and scan only the the OU and the sub OUs contained within this particular OU. Or if, and if you have a separate site, you can do that as well. So I have all this information configured the way I want. I'm going to hit OK. And this Contoso domain has now been added up here on top. The next thing I want to capture is going to be a um, an IP range scan. So I have off to the side here, I've got my IP ranges documented. So I'm going to grab a new scan target. And as you can see, I can do a specific I, uh, specific Windows computer if you really wanted to. Um, a specific IP range can contain a single IP, so a start and end of a single IP. So you wanted to target very you know very small area. But I know that the subnet I'm working on is 10.40.0.1 and through 10.40.0.10. If you have a really large network, you can actually add um, dot. Uh, 255 here, you know, so it can actually have a very wide range. But for my particular situation here, I have just the small network. I do want to put a quick description in here. And I want to only do a save and my, my IP there. I do know that it's in this network. My SSH ports are 22 and the SIP ports are fine. I also want to run these every day. This time is totally fine and reoccurring. Um, no reoccurring. This is I want this enabled right away as well. So this is all I need to be able to get this scan going. I'm going to hit OK. But I want to specify now by creating these scanned times and the IP, uh, the IP range and the Active Directory does not necessarily mean I'm going to have a quality deep scan yet. So what I need to do is go and configure the scanning credentials to be assigned to those specific scan targets. So let's go into credentials. I'm going to scroll down. And you can see right here in my IP range, there are no scan credentials. And I want to be able to have those mapped. So let me take a moment and get those mapped for you. 
There we go. And how I'm doing this here is I'm holding down my control key and be able to click or um, deselect that as well by just clicking on that. Now that I've added those, I'm going to hit OK. They've been added to my list. And now I've got all of those IPs that within this range will be scanned with this subset of credentials. And that way I know specifically what is being scanned. So with that, that completes the setting up uh, two different scan targets and putting them in here. A couple things I want to just point out. Make sure that you, again, I know I've mentioned this, but review that um, target list. Let's make sure that you get all of the information that you can out of your network. Um, I want to also talk about scanning schedules a little bit. We do have a video that talks a little bit about scanning schedules. So look for that um, in the training material as well, where we talk about how best to schedule and organize some of your scans, depending on scanning at night during the day, what to do with large IP ranges and so forth. I think the last thing I would like to show you here is as I go into my scanning targets, you can trigger these scan targets either based off the schedule and you can also do that manually. So with these two new environments I've created, I want to scan them right now. I'm going to go ahead and tell this to go ahead and scan each of these environments, add those to the queue and my 40 right there. Hit scan now. Both of those are now added to the queue. And to show you and demonstrate to you that these have been added to the queue, you can come into the scanning and come down to scan queue. And you can also see that off to the side here, the scanning queue. And as I go into the scan server, this has been impacted. You can see all the scanned IP ranges that I've just added in will be scanning. And then you can see they're beginning, beginning to do a deep scan with the credentials that we've assigned. With that, that concludes this video on talking to you a little bit about how to create some of these scan targets. I think you'll find they're pretty easy to get into. Some of the others with some of the web credentials might be a little bit more complex, but we do have KB articles available for you on community.landsuper.com where you can get more KB and knowledge information out about how to configure those best um, with the proper credentials and certificates and keys that are necessary for each different environment. Hope this is helpful. Happy sweeping, and I'll see you on the next one.